Hello, you guys. Today, I want to talk about women who lead with their sexuality. Um, some of these women, I'm told, are like very hot women who are crazy in bed. But I also am talking about women who may not be sexual at all, but they're just showing their body all over the internet, or they go to the gym very scantily dressed. And to me as a woman, it gives me, these are the thoughts I have about it. Number one, these women have not learned to value themselves as having any substance in and of themselves. So they think that the way to be noticed, because we all want to be noticed and we all want attention, right? Like right now, I'm getting attention from making this video, right? It's natural and normal to want attention and connection with other people and with the opposite sex. However, we can bring our whole self into this, our whole authentic self. We can bring a mask into it. We can bring our neuroses into it or lead with a mask. And for some women, their mask is their sexuality. Like if I lead with my sexuality, men will notice me and men will want me. And I will tell you as a woman, I will tell you from the time I started developing at the age of 13 and getting breasts and a booty, a round booty, grown men were checking me out. And I will tell you, it feels like um, like a power, okay? It feels like a power because all I have to do is walk by and I can catch the gaze of many men. Even when they don't look, they're kind of looking. And there's um, a feeling of power that comes from that, okay? Now, a lot of women will mistake this power or this gaze of a man, okay, and I've done this before, because I think from a woman's point of view, like I look at people that I'm interested in or that I want to get to know or that I'm attracted to or that I like, but a man's gaze just goes where there's a visual focus, you know, it's just, you know, they see a breast, they see an ass, they see a woman walking by and they just look, it doesn't mean they are interested in her, that they want her, maybe they just want to fuck her, but it's not personal. Women don't know this. So they make the mistake of thinking that the gaze of a man is more valuable than it actually is. Women misunderstand this gaze of men, this interest of men as being valuable. And it, it really isn't. Okay. And going along with that, they know that men love sex. And so women will misuse their sexuality, thinking that's how they can get a man or hook a man or get a man to bond with them because that's how we are. We, and I love making these videos talking about our differences because it's so helpful for relationships and for not getting our hearts broken that to know that just because, ladies, just because a man is fucking you, it doesn't mean that he's interested in you at all, okay? It doesn't. They're not like us in that way. And men, just because a woman starts out all sexual and into you, it doesn't mean that she's embodied and desiring you. She could just be using the sex to lure you in, to get you hooked, or she could be one of these crazy 10 women who are just impulsive and hypersexualized and who use sex to lure you in or hook you in because they think that's how they get to keep you. Um, I'm thinking about these kind of crazy women that these very attractive women who are like crazy in bed and some of them have like never had to work on their personality so they think that you know, sex is all they have to offer because they've always been valued just for sex. If they were sexually abused or they were always able to get away with stuff because they're so beautiful, kind of like the Chad guys, they don't have to work on their personality because they can easily get someone else. So they're not forced to work on their personality. So some of these people are just good for a quick fuck. But, um, when women lead with sex, what are some of the motives that they have? They can, if they have a fear of abandonment, 
they can use sex to kind of try to hook somebody in. And if they're very beautiful, they can hook people in. If they're crazy in bed and beautiful, they can hook you in. And some men actually like the drama and the highs and lows that come from a woman like this. Because the women that are super crazy in bed usually have difficulty with their emotional regulation. They're very impulsive. Um, the sex that's crazy isn't always going to be crazy. It's going to fade off. She's more likely to cheat on you. When it starts out with a bang, it's kind of like the guy, narcissistic guy who love bombs you. It's a form of love bombing. Women who are crazy in bed are like the men who love bomb you. It's a, it's a mask. It's not a sustainable real thing. But why do they do it? They could do it because they use sex as a way of power or control. If I give men what they want, then men will want me and they won't leave me. Um, I was talking to someone recently and he had one of these 10 women who was like so sexual. The sex was off the charts, squirting and orgasms and crazy sex. But very few months into their relationship, she started using the sex. He started feeling her neediness and her clinginess. The sex was no longer something she enjoyed. It was something she needed. And it was an energetic pull. And because he's emotionally healthy, he started losing interest in the relationship. But men who are not emotionally healthy, they will get hooked into that. They will start feeling her, her anxiousness and they want to rescue her and they want to be the daddy who wants to rescue the wounded damsel in distress. And those relationships are actually very discomforting, but men like that find normal women boring. So to each his own, but I'm just trying to explain things that these kind of relationships are extremely rocky and emotionally unstable. So these women that start out, these super attractive women that are crazy in bed are emotionally unstable. And if you value stability in your relationship and authenticity and someone who can um, interact with you in a healthy way, you're not going to get that. But if you like drama and excitement and rescuing someone and dealing with the highs and lows and all this focus on your relationship that isn't working, then you might thrive in a relationship like that. But Let's go on. What are some reasons that women use um, sex in an unhealthy way? Okay. They're not having it out of their um, desire and pleasure. It's more like, this is how I can, uh, this is how I get power over him because I feel wanted. And if I feel wanted, then he's not going to leave me. Number two, um, having sex to please the guy. Women can have sex to please the guy and they're not even knowing what they want themselves. It's a mask. It's a mask of sex. Like if I do what he wants, if I please him, I'm going to fake my orgasms. I'm just going to be whoever he wants me to be in bed and I'm going to dissociate. I'm not going to feel any pleasure, but I've got his attention. I'm going to seduce him through my sexuality because I cannot tolerate being alone. And so I need to be sexually hooked into a guy. I have nothing else to offer. I have no, this is me just saying how these women think. If they have nothing else to offer and no sense of self, they can use their sexuality to hook a guy in. And it's very easy. But what kind of guy and what kind of relationship? Number three, um, sexually abused women were trained from an early age that the only way someone will love them or care for them is if they involve sex and the sex must be good and they must give good sex and that's how they get love. And then the other problem with very beautiful women too is that they're treated like objects and they don't even get to feel like they're lovable because everyone's always treating them based on their looks and people will treat you differently if you look good it's very true um whether you're a man and a woman and then they don't if they've never been taught of their worth you know if they don't have that reference or that experience it's hard for them to find that so they start to use the sexual allure as a survival mechanism and um 
it would be kind of the same as a man who's got a lot of money and he has no sense of self and he uses his money or his drugs to lure women in um, but he's not really connected to them you know he he's not really relational with them he can just keep women around because he's paying for things and he's fun and entertaining but it's all like a shell of a person and um, and the problem with that kind of um, if you want to call it relating to men through their money or and power or women through their sexuality is that it's fleeting, it's a mask, it's temporary, and it's not sustainable. So um, I do think that there are ways you can get a woman to be like more open in bed and more playful in bed. I think the best thing to do is to get a woman who is like, who likes sex, you know, and you can open her up because you own you as a man are owning your sexuality and she feels she's playful and fun and she's going to gradually open and open and more to you but if you start out right off with the bang with this woman who's crazy in bed she's probably crazy um this is what i think this is why i was making this video i was like what is up i keep hearing about these women who are like tens and they're crazy in bed i've heard this from so many men like Richard Cooper has said it. Dad Starting Over has said it. Um, a guy that I um, used to go out with who told me about the crazy matrix. Like so many men have told me this. And I've just been baffling about it. Um, but the thing is those women cannot sustain that sexual intensity because it's not real. Okay? It's not real. They do not sustain that sexual intensity. Um, they're more likely, and these women are likely to cheat on you. That's what they do. These women turn out to be cheaters. They turn out to be um, emotional wrecks. Um, they turn out to be clingy, needy, not want to work on relationship issues. And if you're a man who values um, healthy relating, you're not going to like to find that fun after a little while. But some men don't. They need that intensity. They need that intensity in their lives. They, they're like the thrill seekers. If you're a guy who's a thrill seeker, you know, who wants to ride his motorcycle late at night on a dark road and who wants to like do crazy stunts and who needs a lot of excitement and activity, you may need a woman like this, a crazy woman. Because she's intense and she's fiery and she's going to try to hit you and then she's going to try to fuck you and... There's a lot of drama, and you might need that drama probably because your mom was drama. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to label this as unhealthy behavior. And I think these men who like women like that, they had a mom like that who was borderline or um, um, emotionally dysregulated. And so they think that's normal. They don't know. So the solution for these guys would be to learn how to be alone, to learn how to just be home alone or just go in the woods for a walk or just sit on the top of a mountain and meditate or just sit on your in your backyard and watch the birds, to learn how to be alone, to learn how to be present in your nervous system when there's some peace when there's some calmness, when there's some silence, when there's some presence to just like calm things down and learn to enjoy the calm. The same way with these women, they all have to learn to be alone. You know, I think as humans, we become most powerful when we can be alone and connect with other people, like those two extremes. But um, anyway, so I'm going to call the sexual allure as a survival mechanism, crazy women and crazy sex. And I'm just making this video to kind of like figure stuff out because I really don't know. I'm just very curious around these crazy women, these attractive women who have crazy sex and what this is all about. So I'm going to say they use their sexual allure as a survival mechanism to get love and attention. We as women easily can get attention from men um, 
And by the way, ladies, you do not have to show anything to get attention from men. They are always checking us out. And if they check you out because your titties are bouncing around, they're just looking at your titties. It has no, no meaning that they're interested in you at all. In fact, a man of emotionally healthy isn't going to, he's not going to want to date a woman who's got her tits hanging out at the gym. You know, I'm just being honest right here. So I think you're better off just, um, my tip to women would be to just find what makes you happy and don't lead with your um, tits. <laughs> like you can dress beautifully, you know, like you look, I'm not like all covered up, but make yourself beautiful, but keep your tits and your ass covered. And just be someone who loves her life. That's the best tip to attract a healthy man. Um, and then when you go to the beach, wear a skanky little bikini. It's great. The beach and the pool are perfect places for that. When you go out with your boyfriend, dress as sexy as you want. But when you go out alone, keep it a little bit modest and realize there's more to you than your tits. And men will want you for more than your tits. And your ass, the kind of men that are worth having are going to like you because they love your whole beauty and they love your energy. Um, I'm not saying you, I mean, you, you, you have to look, you have to look reasonably good, but you don't have to be a, what I'm trying to say is that you, you can get male you can get let's see how can i explain it okay if you want a man to notice you do you if you lead with your tits he's just going to want your tits so you're just an object to him but if you lead with the whole package okay because you're happy with your life and you have some hobbies and you like to read and you have friends and you dress well, you know, like this, covered, you know, um, you will attract a man who's interested in you. That's what I want to say. And um, a lot of women haven't discovered that yet. So they lead with their sexuality because they know they can get that man. But what kind of man? You're either going to get a wounded man or a fuck boy. So... Anyway, I'm interested in your comments and thank you for watching my video.